Okay, so this is part two of the home tour, and this is walking from my foyer. You saw the magical garland. Um, right here I have my end table that catches everything for my husband and I with our car keys and all of that. And then down here I've got some cute little gold presents, and those candles um, come on, um, on timers. So this is nice little entryway into the kitchen and then if I pan back out this way we'll come into the kitchen and I did this little setup I tried to go with all the whites and this morning all the rooftops were frosted so that was pretty exciting and I just have some simple um, snowflake candles right here a beautiful cross that my grandmother gave to me years ago um, candle right there and this I fill with candles or candies just depending what I would like to do it's my son's birthday today so I need to get that cake frosted cute little snow globe my sister gave me and then we come across here to my garden window which I showed all of you in great detail if you saw the um, winter wonderland garden window and that turned out really nice Come in, zoom in here with the poinsettias. I have an array of both crystals, whites, silvers, and a little bit of that champagne color. I've got the back lighting going right there. And then come across here, and this gets a little bit more traditional Christmassy. I did my fruits. This is a little fruit topiary that I really like. And over here is a partridge in a pear tree. I love her. I have to have her out every year. And there's a little one down there. And this is really simple, easy to look across at um, when you walk through the door. And then if you come across here, my chandelier this year is quite simple. I turned the light down a lot um, to help with the backlighting. I just added a pretty um, garland um, right there. And it is a frosted um, pine garland. I just wanted to keep it simple, simple, simple this year. And same with my centerpiece. I put down a runner and this beautiful centerpiece is on a timer. And then what I did for the candles, these are again my favorite flameless timered candles, but I put that pretty ribbon on it. And I actually found that ribbon at Marshall's for like $5.99. It's the same ribbon that I have on the sconces on the way up the hallway. And there's the top of my tree over there, but we will come down. That's just panning across, but I'll get some brighter light on in here. But this is just panning across right now into my family room. Let me flick on some brighter lights and turn this off for just... Okay, this is the family room. And I have our Christmas tree. This is the kids' Christmas tree love that that's my favorite night of the year when we go and get the kids Christmas tree and they decorate it and then the fireplace which I had shown in a video I think last year's video that turned out really beautiful I, I love it it's just so opulent so lush with items up there flanked it with two trees that are not lit I feel like sometimes and I've used this term before, I get a little bit Little Vegas and I start getting overkill with my items. Up top, I have all the rich different holiday items, all the draping, um, all the draping garlands. And then I have some really bright lights on so that you can see this, but I just wanted to give you an idea again, at nighttime, this is quite twinkly. Um, if you come down, I did, that's my Nutcracker Suite. That is absolutely beautiful. And then over here I have one of my many, many, many snow globes. My village that I've shown you in past years, um, how to decorate. That's very pretty right here. Let me pause for just, okay, here we go. I had to turn on a few more lights in there so you could see a little better. This is my village. It does change a little bit from year to year, but um, really happy with the village. And honestly, I think a huge part of that is because of the fact that it's A, in a dark cabinet, and B, I have a lot of greenery tucked 
behind the village itself, which gives it a little bit more depth, a little bit more life. So I'm happy with that. Let me back up just a little bit here. This year I went pretty simple on my bar. I um, have this beautiful candelabra. These also are flameless candles. I don't have them on because one of them isn't turning on and I don't know why. But um, with just the simple light in the bar, this all glistens and I really like that. I like the little touch of red on the bar. And then here on one of my end tables is just um, a simple vignette here of a candle. And I liked how I had a couple different types of trees here. I have my Santa's tree with Santa. And then I bought this tree last year and I really like it. But it's been hard to place, believe it or not, there. Now you see the sparkle if I don't block the light. And um, this candle I usually light for big events, but obviously it's kind of in a walkway area and I don't want people to bang into it. So that is the family room. Okay, now we're in my backyard and I wrap my garland with greenery and ornaments just because I think it's a nice little touch, especially as you look out the family room and you see this, so I, I wrap that. We've got a nice little setup there with a deer and some candy canes. And then, as you pan across here, he's my favorite. Santa with his lamp post, or Santa, snowman with his lamp post. And I love looking out from the family room. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I always wrap my swing. I put some garland up top, and I wrap my swing to look like a present. So that's really nice. And then you come back down. Like I said, you've got this nice little garland and ornaments. I like that with the snowman right there. I'm back inside, and this is the view from the family room. So the kids and I can stand here and look at the wrapped um, banister outside and see our candy canes. And then, a kid, of course, our snowman with the lantern and still enjoy the beauty of our tree. So that's really nice. And I have on this tree oversized um, globe uh, lights and I have never been able to find them since they were a gift to me. Let me see if I can find one. Like right there, that bright yellow one. Or there's some pinks and greens. And I love it because it gives such a bold, great pop of color to our tree. But at the same time, um, you don't have to use a lot of them. But I so would like to find these again. So if anybody can tell me where I can find those again, that would be great. A lot of pictures of my kids, as you can see. They love adorning the tree. with. Okay, so as you walk from my family room... As you're going into the guest bedroom um, back door area, I do have it decorated with a Santa to greet you on your way out and a simple little um, holly wreath. And then come across here and I have a table at the end of the hall area or the breezeway area. And um, I put some trees and pictures of my daughters. But these are on timered candles as well. And this is a really nice little setup right here because it's nice when you come across around the corner and um, this nice little glow is going. And then I had shown you the bathroom. So that is, um, let me turn off the light for just a minute here. I'll show you the tree. But um, I showed you this in a video on decorating a bathroom. And I'm still very, very happy with this. And then I did add those pretty candlesticks in the corner. I better turn the light back on for you with a nice little um, just red fingertip towel. You can see the kids have dismantled that already. It's hard to keep the house clean for very long with kids running around, as you know, especially on birthday party day. So anyway, that turned out really nice, the tree in the corner. And then... As I take you back through, there's the family room. Here's one last spot up here. This is my daughter's office. And um, I did set up some cute snowman house up there. 
those turn on. I don't know why they're not on yet. I guess it's not quite late enough with his own little snowman lantern. And that's really cute. And then I just put a Santa lamp in the corner. So that is my holiday home tour number two. Thank you as always for watching Designs by Michelle. And I hope that you tune in to the Christmas home tour number one if you haven't yet gotten the opportunity to see that as well as many of my other holiday decorating tutorials. Thank you for watching Designs by Michelle. Merry Christmas.